It's your boy Mag TV in the college haunt. He's starting a new Ponzi scheme. Today, we got Andrew Cobra Tapes Top 10 Savage and Blatant Rants of 2022. Free the Tates! Free the Tates, free the Tates, free the Tates, bro. Hold on, let me let me activate my top G. Alright, top G activated. Listen, I just want to say this before we get into the video, man. They banned Andrew Tate off. Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, bro. And I just want to say a point here. If Andrew Tate was promoting homosexuality, feminine men, uh, any anything of that, graping, they would actually promote him. But they're canceling him for a reason. They are canceling him because they don't want men to be men. They don't want women to be women. They want females to be men and men to be female. They're pushing the agenda and he is going against the agenda. Therefore, they have to silence him in a country where promotes that they said, in a country that says they have a commitment right that says freedom of speech. Oh no, so it's freedom of speech until we don't agree with you. After we don't agree with you, we just cancel you. It's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. So we so we free and Tate, man. Tate will not die while I'm alive. That's a fact. Top G. Hit a top G, bro. I really genuinely think I'm crazy. Yeah. But I, I, I mean everything I say. My whole life was hardship. And and to some degree, I try and make sure my life retains some degree of hardship. Mm. Uh, my, my father was the OG. I was raised by probably the best father on earth. I really genuinely But he wasn't that. around? He, he, the, he, he uh, doesn't uh, have to be around. Tell this is a big mistake. This is another genuinely big Tell him. Uh, my, my father was the OG. I was Top by G. the best father on earth. I really genuinely But he wasn't that. around? It, it, but a father doesn't have to be around. This is a big mistake. This is another big mistake, especially among the conservatives and the tricons and all this crap. The yeah, tricons. The father needs to sit around like a second mother to make the child healthy. It's, it's a fallacy. It's fallacy. Fact, it's detrimental to the child. I see all these dudes out here. They have a kid and they basically become mother number two. Why? The mother keeps the child alive. As a father, it's your job to be impactful. You need to guide. You need to be a role model. You need to be a superhuman. Everyone should look at their father like a superhero. That's what you should genuinely view him as. It's hard to be a superhero if you're home every day arguing with your wife changing diapers. That's not what a man should do. A man should rock up, teach lessons, be impactful, and it's more about quality as opposed to quantity of time. When I was poor... Drops mic. He just dropped the mic. As. It's hard to be a superhero if you're home every day arguing with your wife changing diapers. That's not what a man should do. A man should rock up, teach lessons, be impactful, and it's more about quality as opposed to quantity of time. When I was poor, one for one, furious at the fact that I was poor, because I my my ego, and I'll be honest, my ego is at a point where I didn't understand hey, how other people can afford Ferraris and I can't. I, I would be 18. Walk into college and a Ferrari would drive past, and it would ruin my week. And everyone would be like, "What's wrong with you?" And I'd be like, "Don't you see? This fat fuck can buy a Ferrari, and I can't. Why? He's not a better man. He's not a better person than me. Nope. I, he's, I'm just as good as him, if not better. I couldn't stand the fact that there are people who could do things I couldn't. So this gave me unlimited motivation to get rich. Now I found a way to get rich, and I believe that anyone who really, really, truly wants to get rich will get rich one way or another." But that's because it bothered me for the first 10 years, you know, my, my one way or right another motivation to get rich. Now, I found a way to get rich and I believe that anyone who really, really, truly wants to get rich will get rich one way or another. But that's because it bothered me for the first 10 years, you know, my, 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 my 20s was broke most of them. Biologically designed, we're evolutionarily two two. hardwired to seek status. That's what we want. Men talk about wanting money. You don't want money. You want power. You want power, you want status, you want the fast car, you don't care about the car. You want everyone to know you have the car and they can't have the car. Yeah. It, meaning the female three we are three. with has to add status to our lives in some form. That's why we like beautiful women, right? But a beautiful woman who doesn't behave and doesn't obey isn't really much status. Yep. So when we're looking for status, we want a beautiful woman <laughs> who doesn't behave and She's doesn't stupid. obey isn't really much status. Yep. So when we're looking for status, we want a beautiful woman <laughs> who is compliant because it's unique and it's scarcity that provides value. Well, it is unusual. I just don't necessarily. It's not three for three, three for three. He hasn't lied yet. Let's keep going. Don't necessary. It's not what Top I'm looking G. for. So for me, I'm just like eh. I'm heartbroken. That's okay. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> no, but no, but the point I'm making is everything translates, right? It's a spider's web. If you're gonna find a man who's truly warrior minded, who's truly conquest minded, who's truly hard to govern, is he gonna get one chick and let her tell him what to do with his, his life? No. He's gonna be that guy who does whatever he wants. 
And and this is where we also tie into loyalty because loyalty is a completely misunderstood concept. Facts. You value oh, loyalty. No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Male loyalty, masculine loyalty is completely misunderstood. All these dudes out here who are at home with their wife thinking they're loyal, you're not loyal. You're a scumbag. Loyalty is having options and returning to the same place. Not only having one option. They're very different things. If I walk into the store and they only sell apples and I buy an apple, I'm not loyal to apples. I don't have a choice. <laughs> loyalty is walking in the store where they sell all the fruit. I buy apples six days a week. Occasionally I get a big fat pineapple and I go back to apples the day after. That's loyalty. I'm being honest. When people come yeah, to me, yeah. I feel this way. Four for four, like the Wendy's. You're a pussy. Oh, but I feel. Who gives a fuck how you feel? Nobody I'm cares how you feel. Your house, strangle your wife to death. Who gives a fuck how you feel? Like, your emotion has nothing to do with the harsh reality of this world. You're either successful or you're not. Life is binary. You either win or you lose. You survive or you don't. These, these people are so obsessed with themselves and how they feel. Everybody's so depressed. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You're upset. Who cares? You're All sad. So what? They're so obsessed with themselves and how they feel. This is my whole problem with the depression thing. Psst, On my babe. old account, long time ago, when I was verified, before I got banned, I set the world nuts when I said depression wasn't real. And the world went crazy. Every A-list celebrity, you can still Google right now. Free tape. Real, all the tweets come up. And my point was completely misunderstood. And my point was very simple. Feeling depressed is real. That is a real thing. And I truly believe that the reason you feel depressed is so that you are inspired to in do better. You're unhappy with your surroundings and you're inspired. This is the reason why you don't want to go to jail. Both of us don't want to go to jail because we'll both be depressed. Women are absolutely happy serving them. Six for six. Women are absolutely happy saying, you know what? I know I have the best man on the planet and I know I make him happy. Women are happy yeah. with that. Yeah, that's true. They're far more happy with that than they are working some fucking career. Yeah. And some garbage. Oh, I have thoughts and opinions and a job. Who yeah, cares? Shut the fuck up. Have kids. Sit at home. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. Have kids. Sit at home. Make coffee. Yeah. I, I don't believe in marriage in terms <laughs> yeah, of the institution, not because I am against the idea of loving a woman, but I'm so anti-government. I don't want them to have anything to do with me, especially where my dick goes. So mm. fuck them. Yeah. So I refuse to sign the piece of paper because I just don't want to deal with government. More. Okay. Retweet. One out of seven for seven. Please. Tape for president. They don't know what they want. Nope. Uh, they don't. They don't. Women want things that they, the women think they want things and then they get them and they leave the dude. Women, women don't have a clue what they want. I want a guy who's sweet and sensitive and takes care of my needs and thinks about me, but, but, but they're all out there. None of you are with him. Wow. Go get him. He works at Subway. Because women don't want that. Women don't actually want that. Go women get him. want to be with a man they respect. Women are only going to enjoy the time with and end up feeling in love with a man they genuinely respect. Facts. Unfortunately, to be respected, some of the qualities are detrimental to the overall relationships, let's say happiness. I know loads of women who are with a dude they hate, but they respect him. Like, I know, he makes me so mad, but he is the G. And they stay with him, as opposed to the woman who's like, well, he's so nice to me, but, you know, and leaves. So women need to respect you as a man. How's a woman going to respect you as a man if no other girl wants you? How's a woman going to respect you as a man if you're putting her above all your boys? How's a woman going to respect you as a man if you're not here in the streets making money? How's a woman going to respect you as a man if you don't respect yourself or other men don't respect you? Facts. Myself is Bro, that nigga don't be lying. What was worth being banned? Why y'all ban him? Females, and not in a negative way. I love them and I adore them and I want them around me, but in no way are they my equal. This guy's being fucked up. And, and they know that when they're with me. And they and they like me for that. This is the crazy thing about it. People will say, oh, you're sexist. You're never going to get a girl that way. I'm like, as soon as a woman she finds a man she can look up to and go, okay, you know what? This motherfucker's tall. He's smart. He's strong. His life's in order. He, he's, he's never fucking up. He, everything's on track. He's never messed up. Let's follow him. I ain't there yet. Woman. He's not an alcoholic. He's never done drugs. His life is completely in order. He's a multimillionaire and everything's on track. I ain't there yet, but Tay helped me get there, man. Motivated a young nigga to get up on his grizzly, nigga. Free tape, bro. Stop and it. He knows more than me about everything. I'm just going to shut up. They like that. Come on, bro. But, you they, know, I say they, they really didn't want my son Tate to be great, bro. Nice. One thing he said wrong. Put it in the comments. Fuck out here. Y'all niggas get me tight sometimes. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Cause y'all niggas are stupid. So stupid, bro. It's one thing he said wrong. One. I'm, I'll wait. Cause already get me upset, bro. I don't play that disrespect on my son Tate, bro. Free the Tates, bro. 
We're gonna do more tape, bro.